Hello everyone, it's uh, me Bryce from Douche Gaming. It's been a while, uh, haven't done anything in quite a bit. Last thing we were doing, we were playing Dark Souls 3, our cooperative adventure in the whole trilogy, uh, me, Todd, and then finally Patrick joining us in the end. It's a lot of fun, good times, and um, uh, you know, usually between series we take some time to really do nothing uh, on the channel. We, you know, we play games and go to work and do our go better than the lives as normal. Um, so I thought, you know, perhaps it's time to, to go back to maybe doing something. So, and I and I was trying to think of what kind of games would, make, would be good for like a let's play or a series. And I thought, well, I haven't done a solo let's play like by myself in a while. Why don't I do The Outer Wilds? Um, it looked like a kind of game I could get into and use for a sort of solo let's play experience. It seems very interesting. Seems like a lot of fun, honestly. I, I, I don't know too much other than the basic premise and that the general idea is that you are in a, uh, a sort of small solar system that you get to explore in your tiny ship uh, and sort of uncover mysteries and things and it, it sounds interesting. It looks interesting. It looks good. Uh, so I'm hoping that it's a game that I will like. Maybe it could make it on my top 10 this year if it's good enough. I hope it is. I always hope that when I play new games uh, that I like them. It always sucks when you play a game you don't like. Um, but yeah, and other than this, I just want to say that something else we're working on right now um, is we're doing another cooperative experience. We're playing Synergy uh, 3 player. Uh, me, Todd, and Jared were playing through Synergy, which is a co-op mod for Half-Life 2. We're having a lot of fun with that at the moment, so hopefully we can get that up pretty soon. But uh, other than that, yeah, I just, uh, I'm looking forward to this, and I thought I'd share it, share my thoughts and first time experiences with this. So let's, uh, let's jump in and see what we have. I've already checked the options. I think we're good there. Uh, new expedition. Let's, let's, let's fucking do this. And, uh, all right. Yeah, fantastic. Suck me in, baby. Oh, okay. Let's wake up. <gasps> I can't breathe. There's no oxygen. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, hello. Hello. I'm alive. Oh, I. Okay. Nice. I'm a purple, purple man. I'm blue. W D W die. That's pretty. All right. Okay. Well. I can already tell. Uh, visually, I approve. Uh, and already from the trailers and stuff, I really could tell that artistically I liked the, the general look of the game. Oh, hell yeah. Don't mind if I do. Uh, oh. Uh, extend. Yes. Huzzah. Eat. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Just choking already. Great. Fantastic. What a great start. Hey. Talk to Slate. You have four eyes. There's our pilot back from your pre launch cap out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. Could you stop staring at me with those solace eyes of yours? Uh, what do you say? Gotta get this beauty off the ground. It's all fueled up and ready to go. All systems go. I'm ready if you are. You sure you've fixed the retro rockets? You sure you've... Okay, I, I should ask. I mean, looking at his patchy suit, I should find out. Do you treat the ships the same way you treat your clothing. That was only a problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that, but hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? You should dwell on it. I mean, you should learn from the past. I mean, I feel like this is pretty important. Anyway, you'll need to get to the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Oh, thanks. Thanks for considering my, my feelings towards my family and potential goodbyes I have to make. It's going to be very emotional, and I'm glad that you have, like, no... You know what? One more marshmallow. Fuck it. Uh, uh. That shit. Okay, great. Alright, we're set. Uh, okay, so there's a jump. Looks like there's a path over here. Uh. 
Okay. So I can hold it down and do like a super super jump. Uh oh, uh okay. Do I go up here then? Uh or no. Do I not? Am I just stupid? I'm probably just stupid. There we go. Another thing I'm really liking so far is music is very nice, very simple, very pleasant. Hey, how you doing? Talk to Mika. Hey, it's you. Please said you're blasting off on your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you going to go into space? Aren't you? Better not change your minds. Yeah, I'm changing my mind, honestly. I, I'm, I'm regretting every decision I've made in my life, so let's not do this. Beefed up the model ship, can I see it? I want to practice with the pro before I leave. Hey, I'm still going. Better be. It's been forever since anyone launched. Is it nighttime already? It just turned to day. No, okay. Probably just a cloud or something. Really want to see it. Okay. Really bad. Hey, you want to try out my model ship? So like said it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Right. Um, fly model ship. Nope. Oh, okay. I, uh, that's okay. I should read the controls before I fuck everything up. Horizontal thrust, up, down thrust. Uh, 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 right. Okay. Cool. Cool. Oh, 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 oh dear. Oh, oh god. No, fuck shit. God, fuck. <laughs> I'm just killing pedestrians down there. Don't mind me. Sorry. <laughs> um. I'm sure I'll be fine, right? Like that that's a good sign I'll be able to fly a real a real ship. Surely. Uh okay. This, God, this is fucking beautiful. I'm I really liking this. Talk to Porphy. Hey oh hatchling. You're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the, Oh, I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and Gosson go go open a bottle of the good stuff. I'm only seeing adventure amongst one star, actually. Other stars are too far away. Yeah, that's true, actually. Uh, well, maybe it's not. Maybe we'll go see other stars. Why Why not? Uh, the good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. Right. Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. That's right. I'm gonna ruin everything. I would have to prove that evolution doesn't exist, you fucking bastard. <laughs> Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. Yeah, thanks, man. Uh. Rutile. The yeah, Outer Wild Adventures presents postcards from orbit. Use satellite camera. This projector is linked to our Sky Shutters app. Just currently you are bringing Timber Hearth. Satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. Uh, oh, so it's currently just moving in it. Alright. Okay. Oh. Already I see some interesting things. Maybe some volcanoes or something. I'm guessing. Uh, that's probably us down there. Yeah, that is. Surely. Okay. Uh, this pilot was used by. Oh, is this like a. Is this is like a fucking. Oh, sorry. I will read that. Uh. Surely it's like a museum of some sort, an, an outdoor museum. I'm actually blasting off from that thing, huh? Uh, they really don't explode as often anymore. Oh. I'm told my odds of survival are statistically quite high. Yeah, the space program's certainly come a long way. I hope so. I should probably thank you for causing fewer flash fires than your predecessors. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Although, good luck with those retro rockets. Why, well, why Why? am I using a retro rocket? Why not a modern one? One that doesn't, you know, sound like it's likely to be put pieced together by for, with tape and glue and syrup and molasses and other sticky shit. You know, what happened to all the modern, modern 
alloys and polymers and such. Uh, this pilot suit used by a pioneering astronaut Feldspar is all that remains of our inaugural flight into space. Although it's been argued that such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, that day will nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in Parthian history. Cool. Uh, uh, big satellite. Uh, bottles strapped together with a rubber band. Um, thing. Actually, that's a bigger version of the... Oh, so it's like a large model. Is that our ship going to look like this, then? I'm not feeling confident. Uh, some helmets and stuff. It's very dark in here. Uh, right. Okay, I think we've, maybe we've seen all the museum has to offer. Dr. Marl. I'll be honest, I don't have any, um, I'm fine with being an alien. I don't mind that. Uh, oh, ugh, the eyes. It's the eyes, it's the eyes. It's just... I hope I never see a mirror reflection of myself, because, um... Those eyes are just, just soulless and completely dead. And there's four of them, and that's kind of strange. Oh, God, hi. Hello there, Space Cadet. I hear you're leaving the, the crater today. Meet any other travelers up there. Remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Tell me about the Traveler's Instruments. There's the observatory, just saying Baha'i before I leave. Uh, tell me about the instruments. Sure, maybe I can learn why your eyes red. What kind of fucking crack you've been smoking, dude? Just, <laughs> can I trust the information you're going to tell me? Oh, sure, I made all of their instruments, you know. Let me see, <laughs> there's church drums. Oh, ba oh, instruments, like, uh, right. You know, I, I was thinking, like, the instruments in the cockpit, like... The, the flight instruments. Yeah, okay, well, I'm dumb. I, it should have been obvious he's carrying a banjo. Playing it. He's not really playing it, is he? Well, as far as harmonica, of course. The spell has been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels just like, like just yesterday. They were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Okay, so he's missing. Apparently. Uh, anyway, you hear music in space? That'll be one of the space program's other travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Cool. Fantastic, so I won't be completely alone in space. That's good to know. Observatory. Alright. Probably make our way up. Uh, Tefra, Galena. How you doing? Uh, nothing to say. Hello, Afrodite. Uh, if it is my favorite troublemaker. Uh, hi. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, we, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? Really? Oh, Jesus! No, no. Oh, uh, really? But we can't play. Yeah, no, I'm not going to. I, I'll be honest. Uh, the combination of of handing over precious equipment that I might need, and also kids, which I don't inherently like. You know, it's uh, it's a bad combo. Uh, spinal. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, singing helps me pass the time. Leaving the crater, guess we'll all be a little busier without you around the hand. A big water planet, giant deep, that's where I'd go. Uh, why's that? Oh, one time after the rest of the village had left to uh, there's just two of us sitting at the campfire. Gabriel told me about the first trip to Giant's Deep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. Everyone wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They jumped down, down. So, suddenly, Gabriel couldn't go any further. Uh, as a current you can't pass through, I also imagine how boring this would be. <laughs> Fuck you. No, uh, uh, despite my boredom, tell me more. I will. Uh, I was just pausing dramatically. I'll get for you. Uh, as though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabriel go any deeper. Now held Gabriel back, almost as if he was trying to protect him from something. Then, in the terrible darkness, Gabriel saw it. The tentacle of some hideous beast. Okay, so why are you telling me to go there first? You want me to die? Thanks. Jesus. A nerve. Oh! <laughs> Uh, was there a sapphire involved during Gabriel's campfire story? 
Or think of it, I have somewhere you should be exploring. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you, asshole. First you tell me to go kill myself, essentially, and then, yeah, you know what? No. Also, Water Planet, Jesus Christ, I, drowning is my worst fucking fear. Thanks for telling me about that. I'm not looking forward to that. Thank you for now putting fears into me. Uh, okay. Use this camera. Uh, ooh. That's pretty. I don't get it. Uh, danger inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter, a strange and dangerous substance that is invisible to the naked eyes. The good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. I'll just be honest. Like, you can see spurts of it, and it's clearly going outside the fence. Why are you doing this? Hi, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Gosson said it used to be bigger when they were hatching, because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a su super long time to go away. Right. Uh, I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm grown up. Ghost matter is awesome. Ah, it can kill you. Throwing rocks in there. Yeah, I, I mean... I think they lost their foot, right? <laughs> yeah. That is not cool. That is awful, and... You know what? Knock yourself out, good. Zero G cave. Hey, come say hi to your old flight coach before you launch. I've got zero G training. Oh, fantastic. Good, I need some kind of tutorial before I go die horrifically. You're missing an eye. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. If it's gonna get better to you? Absolutely. Everyone's telling me to go drown myself or I might explode. You know, it's it'll be yeah, you know what? Cthulhu monsters in space, I'm I'm feeling great. <laughs> you can I'm I'm a natural. Is that so? Funny I seem to recall the first time you strapped on a jetpack, we had to come fish you out of the crater and you're like, okay, great. Once again, really filling up my confidence meter, you're really helping out, man. So listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment set up down in the zero-g cave and need to... Okay, you're going to send me... Oh, God. If you're looking for a little last-minute zero-g practice, head down the lift and enter the cave. Or don't, so long as you're confident you can make the ship repairs in space. Right. Unrepaired satellite coming up. Cool. Go, uh, get to it. And try not to concuss yourself. Right? Man, I... These people are so nice to me. All right, here I go, into the deep dark, where all the horrors may lie. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like gemstones or something on the, uh, the cave walls. Oh, I, have, I have a flashlight. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Hello, hello, spookums down here. No spooky for me, take you. Zero-G cave. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, uh, gravity point three times. Uh, okay, so that dial tells me my orientation. Nice. Fuel, O2. Fantastic. And up we go. Uh, nice. Whee. <laughs> oh. Alright, I like it. Hey, how you doing? Talk tough. Hey, hey, nice of you to drop down. Give me that dirt. <laughs> Give me that butt! No, uh, okay. uh, guess where I'm going today? I'm getting some zero-g time in. So we're going in there, in the cave? Hmm. What? No, I'm fine. Great, great and fine. You don't look fine. Well, you know, I hate that cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. I don't know that. I don't know anything. I'm just possessing your friend's body so I can play a game. Does that sound fucked up? Because it kind of is. Uh, fwe. Now I've got hand sweats. Hey, you're welcome, man. Just always looking out for my friends. That's what I do. Outer Wilds Ventures. Alright. Uh, oh, down here, I suppose.
Oh great, now he now I know that there's some reason why he, he hates a cave and now I have to feel weird about it. That looks like machinery. Okay. Uh I guess nothing to do but just drop down I suppose and oh yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Alright, cool. Oh, God. This is gonna take some getting used to. One down. Alright, you bastards, where are you at? Fucking build a repair man coming to wreck your ass. Uh, oh, there's another one. I do like how there is like an automated sort of adjust. Oh, there, okay, that's roll. All right. All right, last one. Huh! And voila, I am a pro. Look at me. Whee. Jeez, oh, oh god, oh fuck, how do I, is there a way to turn off, fuck, oh jeez, this is, I, I really have a bad feeling that it's going to take a while to get used to this properly, oh Jesus god, god help me, oh. alright, did the job, did the deed, Wee. oh good news, uh, five minutes in, ten minutes in, no Cthulhu monsters just yet, so, I can say, doing okay. Doing alright. No strikes on the, uh, dream meters coming to beat my dreams, or beat my dick, or whatever. We're doing alright, so far. Uh, hey, I, um, I did the thing. I said done. Of course it'd be a little more stressful when you're out hurling through space. It was already stressful, don't tell me it's gonna be even worse. Uh, but just remember you're training and trying to get hit by anything big. Great. Okay. I can see you're itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Thanks for the encouraging words. Just walk out there and, hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I've just put so much time in training. You got it. Fantastic. Such a nice people, these are. Let's see, observatory up here. Uh, nope. Read. Saw smoke coming from Young Bark Crater up north, and so I figured I'd check it out. You can use the scout launcher, just please don't break it while I'm gone. Uh, I don't know what that means. Actually, that looks more like the observatory. Uh, East Namai Ruins. South Quantum Grove Crater. Geyser Mountains. Uh, and this direction? Young Bark Crater, right. Um, scout launcher, huh? That's pretty neat. Uh, chief camera, I suppose. Oh, right up. 
I like how most of the buildings are like wood, but they know how to like they know teleportation technology or some shit. <laughs> it's, it's really, it's really quite strange. Um, not that I don't like it. I, I like the kind of rustic feel of everything, but just a bit. I, I question some things. Uh, Moran. Hmm, oh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. Uh, any good sounds from space today? There are. My cinescope is set to the outer wild. Okay. Traveler's music. Uh, they're safe. I can hear different planets, too. It depends on what time of day it is. Uh, different planets are in the sky at different times. Cinescopes are cool. Your technology is so weird. I don't understand how it's so advanced yet. Everything else is so primitive. Oh. Onto something? No. Harmonica. I believe someone said there's a harmonica. Uh, someone's just whistling. idea what that is okay that's a little scary uh, that's very far as well um, okay uh, cool mysteries scary I have to explore them I'm okay once again confidence filled with confidence filled to the brim with semen and confidence uh, hopefully lack there of the latter but you know we'll, we'll see how that goes um, all right, observatory, right, here we go. Uh, oh. Arnfels, Goss, and Feldspar, Oscar, Slate. Neat. Although I see five names and four people. And said picture. Founding members, clockwise from top left. Hornfills, Goss, and Slate, and Feldspar. So, Esker, where's... So, so what is Esker, then? Big thanks to these additional founding members, without whom we would never have gotten off the ground. Matthew Steinhauer, Ben Etherington, uh, I... Oh, I, you know, I, I'm guessing that this, it, uh, that this is, like, um, the Kickstarter people, or... I don't know if this is a Kickstarter game or not. I'm pretty sure. Ohm Wrecker, right? Oh, yeah, I know. Wherever he was. Yeah, so it must have been like a Kickstarter thing. I'm guessing. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Uh, Timber Hearth's first and only space program was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Feldspar was the first Hearthian to be intentionally launched into space. Namely, the first orbit around Timber Hearth and was later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Etta Rock. Adderall Rock. Mmm, pills. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. Interesting. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Uh, although there are artifacts and structures that have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. How are you, Hal? Okay. Interesting. Oh, an artifact, uh, maybe? Oh! Uh, what, what is this thing? I have my hand. Uh, untranslated in my writing. Translate. Sure. Uh... Kasava, we're, we're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. F uh, Felix, fortunately, the Outer Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm able to finally resume our search. Interesting. Is 
some information. Essential to deciphering their unique language. Although this text is linear, no my text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. So, like a conversation piece almost. In that case, it seemed like it. Aside from the dwelling constructions they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorative pottery was discovered in Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in their solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated somewhere uh, elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in our solar system, or were they born among the stars and planets? Other stars and planets, and if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further xenoarchaeological you know, expeditions. And as far as we know, it turns out this thing is just like a thermonuclear device that will just destroy our whole planet. Perfect. Fantastic. <laughs> it's art! Art through genocide! Uh, what you see here is the parts of the Nomai skeleton. Uh, we can tell from their skulls they possessed antlers, and quite unusually, only three eyes. Only. Uh huh. As if four is an unusual. Oh, well, whatever. It's all perspective, I suppose. The Nomai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, shows us that Parthians couldn't have descended from Nomai ancestors. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. Maybe I'll find more clues. Because maybe I'm the protagonist. Uh, the Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds Ventures, uh, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the little scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatic yeah, dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost. To okay, so okay, so that would explain such a difference in technology that we've learned some of it from these these ancient peoples. Which would make sense, actually. I, I guess I should have pieced that together. This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seemed to create a local gravity distortion. It was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Oh boy. Okay. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, jeez. Oh, That's cool, though. I like that. Ooh, oh. Woo. That's cool. Okay, I like that. Oh, actually, this is perfect. This should tell me... So what, there's five planets other than our own? Or is that showing five planets including our own? Uh, let's read and find out, actually. So, oh, uh, okay, that's the sun. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of the hydrogen and starts to contract. Starts to contract, right. Okay. Uh... Oh, wait. No, this is, okay, this is talking about star, death, and birth, right, okay. Gotcha. Uh, was that last piece of information? Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and explode into a violent, yep, okay, based on church observations, this will only be the fate of our own sun. Yep, makes sense, okay. I thought this was like a planet, like showing the planets. Yeah, I should've, oh, what the fuck is, what are you? Um... I can't tell if you're alive or dead. This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with a minimal atmosphere. I don't... Okay. You know, I was... Okay, I should have expected space exploration game. Uh, space is dark. I don't like dark places. It's fucking... I should have just figured. You know, it's gonna be... There's gonna be some scary shit.